Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Of course, lots of eclipse talk over the last several weeks. This here is the next big one. Now, it's a little bit far off, but this one is going to be very significant. Just how much land it crosses. Not all of them cross so much land at a given time. This is in 2045, stretching back from the Pacific, a glimpse of it near Hawaii, all the way back toward parts of Canada and right across the United States. Some of it will be seen or at least the sun not seen in some locations with the partial eclipse in Mexico, Central America, and right down into the Caribbean with a total eclipse, not for some, but for many, clipping by South America and even brushing by parts of Africa. Let me zoom down. Again, this one in 21 years from now. This will happen in August, August 12th. Uh, 2045. Now there's several before then. I'll get into that map in just a second. But this here, look how much this impacts. Now I mentioned, I showed you that kind of a uh, wider coloring with this. Even in parts of Central America, we're going to have the partial eclipse. This here is where there will be that total uh, total eclipse, and this is going to stretch right back through Florida, clipping by parts of Cuba, just off to the east of Cuba, right through the Bahamas, almost the entirety of the Bahamas at a time will be under that total eclipse. Bahamas, we have over 700 islands. In how it stretches, it's going to include most of us, Turks and Caicos, parts of Haiti, right around Port-au-Prince to the north, uh, over toward the Dominican Republic. Won't have that total in Puerto Rico, but it's going to be substantial, over 90% uh, a, par or a partial eclipse in parts of Puerto Rico, even the Virgin Islands, close to 80%. So very significant. And then stretching back uh, through Trinidad and Tobago, very close to the ABC Islands, northern Venezuela, uh, Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, right on the edge of that total eclipse. Very significant eclipse over toward parts of uh, St. Lucia. You get over toward Barbados, up toward Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis. And then this will cross over Guyana, Suriname, kind of swinging back. And then eventually uh, it will kind of uh, fizzle out, if you will, back into the Atlantic Ocean. So that one, 2025 on August 12th. And this is the top part of this. It'll come in over Northern California, California stretching back toward Nevada, Salt Lake City over toward Denver, right on the edge of the total eclipse as this passes by Kansas, Oklahoma, clipping by parts of uh, Texas, and then swinging back toward Arkansas, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and almost the entire of Florida will be under that total eclipse and if not still 90 95 percent and then swinging down into the Caribbean so very significant of course there's lots of different types of eclipse solar lunar annular and there's many going on there's one a year before this one will stretch back through lots of Canada you see it here this is August in 20, uh, 2044 so 20 years from now and here's that one that I was just showing you August 12th uh, in 2045, moving through the U.S. and then moving all the way down parts of South uh, Africa. And you can see several others worldwide. So I'll keep an eye on these. But that's going to be the next really big one for parts of uh, North America. Now we get a look here, what's going on. Big weather makers, severe weather, parts of Texas, Louisiana. That's headed in for later today. Tornadoes will be possible. We're always thinking of our friends elsewhere with the weather. My friends in Texas, Louisiana, we are thinking of you with some of that severe weather that will be a potential over the next couple of days. That front here, I'll show you how that ties into the weather across the uh, Caribbean. Elsewhere, we've seen a buildup of some moisture. Columbia, Panama, Costa Rica, that hurricane season starts earlier in the Eastern Pacific. It starts May 15th. We're really days away, about a month away from that. So that moisture building here. Now, uh, northern zones, even Jamaica, we may catch a shower storm today. Keep me posted in the comments. Rain chance not super high, but Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, a better chance of rain. I'll show you the rain totals in a second. Gusty winds through the ABC Islands. I want to show you those winds as well. By tomorrow, see a couple things. Here Here's the tail end of that front that is going to bring the severe weather back toward parts of the southern and southeastern U.S. And still some hit or miss showers, Puerto Rico, Antigua, Barbuda, we may catch a couple. Suriname, better chance of some rain. And still watching some of that rain near Costa Rica and Panama. And there's the front. This is Thursday afternoon. 
there's your time frame. See the tail end of the front there. I'm going to jump to the north in a second. Hang with me. And then you see here the front itself starts to kind of fizzle out. Not a lot of action. But northeastern Caribbean, once again, a better chance of rain. Again, a lot of us are super dry. Way too dry with drought conditions. But northeastern Caribbean, the better chance of rain. Rain totals won't be too high the next few days. See some of this blue shading here. That would be about an inch of rain or 25 millimeters of rain if you do get some rain. Not all of us will. Here's Haiti, my friends in the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Anguilla, St. Barts. Some of us, if we get a couple repeat showers the next few days, may top out on this kind of purplish or pink shading anywhere from 50 millimeters to 75 millimeters of rain. That would be two to three inches of rain. So we'll see some spotty showers. Northern, northeastern Caribbean, highest chance. Now, gusty winds watching over toward the ABC Islands. You see this white shading here. Those are some wind gusts of 80 kilometers an hour, 50 miles per hour. Keep me posted in the ABC Islands, northern Venezuela, what you get with the winds. Very gusty winds, choppy seas here. And this here, these wind gusts here, this is associated in the Gulf of Mexico with that front that is moving in. So we have that strong easterly flow. Even tomorrow, stronger winds near the ABC Islands. As we go from Wednesday into Thursday, there's that front moving in. This here, these winds here in the Gulf of Mexico and just off the coast of the U.S. and near the Bahamas, that will also mean some high season here but that breeze still kicking up as we get back through parts of the Caribbean and then we'll see this front start to work away as we work our way into our Friday so here it is here's this big front and that tail end of it stretching back but look at this big system that left Canada look at that stretch of some rain that's giving us those spotty leftover showers in the Dominican Republic in Puerto Rico for today that's what's responsible for that you see some of the showers there but you see here every now and then you see those brighter colors as we work our way into late today tonight tomorrow those brighter colors in that some hail and some tornadoes possible wind damage possible with this but this time of year the fronts are more up here they're not necessarily down in the Caribbean that'll scrape by Florida with a few showers and storms as we get into later on Thursday and then a pretty big rainmaker as we work our way up toward parts of the mid-Atlantic Northeast and then eventually later this week some of this moisture will be uh, build back uh, toward Canada so that's the outlook there keep an eye on another system that's going to be rolling its way toward uh, parts of Western Canada and the U.S. so I showed you that system down here. Let me get to the top part of it. This is uh, today. A lot of us dry Newfoundland back toward Prince Edward Island. My friends in Nova Scotia. Some spotty showers possible as you get over toward Maine and New England as we work our way into tomorrow. But the bulk of this system will start to fill in Wednesday into Thursday. You see by Thursday over the Great Lakes that rain starts to work in. Still mainly dry in Newfoundland. But then you see this rain starting to work toward New Brunswick as we work our way into uh, Friday. Uh, most of the snow uh, outlook would be on the extreme backside and way to the north this time of year. Of course, overall temperature trends are making the climb this uh, time of year. Now, Jamaica, speaking of temperature, super hot. If you are dry, we are going to be hot. Uh, about a 20-30% chance of a pop-up shower storm. We'll get a couple in Jamaica today. Uh, as we work our way into the Cayman Islands, hit or miss shower possible, about a 20% chance. Trinidad and Tobago were mainly dry, and I mentioned not only dry, we are hot across Trinidad. Watching the drought conditions, the wildfire threat, Barbados, 20% chance for tomorrow, 30% chance Wednesday and Thursday, right across uh, St. Lucia. Grenada, rain chance 10 to 20%. 10 to 20% chance as we get into St. Vincent and the Grenadines, really to the north where the rain chance starts to bump up. Martinique, hit or miss shower. But on Thursday in Dominica, about a 30% chance of a shower. Uh, Guadeloupe, rain chance 30% as well on Thursday. And tomorrow and Thursday, Antigua and Barbuda, isolated showers. Northeastern Caribbean, St. Kitts, Nevis, Montserrat, rain chance will be a touch higher. Anguilla and St. Bart's. And you see some spotty showers possible St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. Rain chance elevated today. Puerto Rico, not all day, but some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Same thing as we work our way through the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. A couple spotty showers will be possible. 20 to 30 percent chance in the Dominican Republic. Some spotty showers around today. Could see a quick little passing shower, a few sprinkles in Haiti. Otherwise, on the hot side, Bahamas rain chance stays limited, and we're mainly dry from the Bahamas. Back through the Turks and Caicos, uh, mainly dry as well in Cuba. A lot of sunshine around in the heat building, 10 to 20% chance of a shower. Belize also on the warm to hot side. Uh, Yucatan of Mexico, rain chance 10 to 20%. Uh, Aruba, Curacao, and Boneros highlighting us earlier ABC Islands. Uh, we're mainly going to be dry. The winds, the gusty winds, that's what's going to be with us and some of the choppier seas. Bermuda, we're on the dry side today, lots of sun. Rain chance 50 to 60%, not, not all day. 
but scattered showers and storms. Costa Rica and Panama, Guyana hit or miss shower. Rain chance a little higher though as we work our way into Suriname. In northern Venezuela, right on the coast, we'll have that breeze that will be with us, some of those gustier winds. So tracking those showers in our northern zones over toward Puerto Rico, Jamaica, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, we're going to monitor those drought conditions, the wildfire threat. Keep me posting in the comments. You're my eyes and ears. Uh, monitoring the volcanic activity. I covered that in yesterday's video. If you missed that, couple of volcanoes we are watching. And that eastern Pacific hurricane season, as I mentioned earlier, that does start earlier than the Atlantic side. Water temperatures are usually more conducive uh, to development earlier in May. So that's something I'll be monitoring. Hurricane season in the Atlantic Basin, Atlantic Ocean, Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean. That starts on June 1st. So thanks for joining me and have a great rest of your day.